Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss about the prepayment in Odoo 17, which is one of the new feature in Odoo 17. In Odoo, prepayment typically involves creating advance payments uh, so that the customers can make an advance payments or prepayment for their order. So let's see how can we manage the prepayments in Odoo 17. Let's move on to the configuration settings where you can manage the prepayment. So you can find a field uh, called prepayments that is to make the advance payment or to make a down payment. So prepayment is used to um, just cut down the burden of the customers while making large amount uh, of payment to the suppliers. So here you can see that we have a prepayment uh, field uh, where you can set the percentage that you're going to make the advance payment or down payment to the supplier. So in order to manage with the prepayment, we also need to consider the automatic invoice, which would generate the invoice automatically uh, when the online payment is confirmed. And we also need to consider the online signature and online payment. This requests the online signature and online payment um, to confirm the order. Okay, now we also need a pay payment provider. That is, we also uh, need to set a channel to make the payment. So in such cases, we use as the payment provider where you can see that uh, we have already installed uh, a payment provider. So as you just install a payment provider or, or a channel to make the prepayment, order will automatically fill all other details. Like it will set the state into test mode. Um, then uh, if you want to allow the saving payments method, you can enable the field. Or if you want to allow the express checkout, you can enable that. And you can also set a payment follow up uh, journal which I'm setting here as bank. Okay, now let's consider that we have just received an order from the customer, Joel Wills, for a large quantity, let's say 50 quantity of Equestic block screen. So in such cases, we know that um, the Joel Wills has to pay um, a large amount to the uh, supplier um, so that uh, he would use the prepayment method of making an advance payment. Okay, so let's see how can we tackle such situations in Odo. So here you can just uh, set the details of the customer as well as you can uh, fill out the uh, details such as the acoustic block screen. Now, uh, we know that Joel Wills is placing order for 50 quantity. So he has to pay a large amount to the customer. Now let's send the quotation by email uh, to the customer. Okay, so you can just click on send button so that the quotation will be um, sent to the customer by online. And he can make an online signature and online payment from uh, his account. Uh, so upon the confirmation of the signature and uh, payment, the order will be confirmed and he can make an online payment. Okay. So let's log out from the administrator and log in as uh, the user, um, that is the customer. So you can just click on portal where you can see that we have just entered to the account of Joy Elvis. And here there are three quotations that to review and we can choose the quotation that we want to review, which is S0038. And uh, you can see all other details will be, uh, yeah, can be found uh, over here with the quotation um, sequence number, sale, sales information, invoicing and shipping address as well as the documents that is attached and amount, everything we can find over here. And now if the customer, Joel, is going to confirm the order by uh, signing the quotation. So you can just, yeah, put a sign in order to validate the order and he can also make the payment. Um, so in order to make the payment, first he has to confirm the order. So upon confirming the sign, the quotation will be considered as the order. Okay, now he is going to make the payment product acoustic block screen so he can make an online payment. So either he can make a full payment or he can just make a down payment. And here we can see that uh, the customer has made a proposal of making an advance payment of 50 percentage. So he will be going with the down payment of 50 percentage and he can uh, pay um, by using the payment provider demo. So after this, you can see that uh, the payment will be processed and uh, his order will be confirmed and he has made an online payment.
so here uh, the payment is confirmed now let's log out from joil wills and login as the administrator where you can find that uh, the quotation will be confirmed as sale order so here you can see the status changed uh, from quotation sent to the sale order and you can also see that a down payment will be added over here which uh, with the amount and all and uh, you can also see that the invoice will be in payment stage which means that the payment is currently confirmed i mean uh, the um, payment is done by the customer joil wills and after reconciliation the payment will be moving to the bank and uh, we can also view the payment transactions over here with all the details that is the payment amount that he has made and all other details of the customer the payment uh, provider reference will be over here and if we want to just go with the transaction details we can uh, just go with this and finally we are going to deliver the item to the customer we haven't delivered this item yet to the customer so just you can just validate the process and we have done the delivery to the customer so this is how we manage with the um yeah prepayments in odoo 17 which is one of the new feature uh, in odoo that is to cut down the burden of making large payments um, by the customer to the supplier so hope this concept is clear for you as always stay awesome and thank you for watching the video